me just check we are live. It was always like a couple of seconds delay where we're like, are we actually live? Yes, we are. Right. Hey, everyone. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hey. Um, welcome back to session two of the Complexion Perfection Masterclass. So we all absolutely loved coming and speaking to you yesterday. Um, we did we did cover quite a lot yesterday because we talked about um, how all the products that we use are mineral based and that means that your skin can breathe. Um, we did talk about um, quite a bit at the beginning about how to get the right colour match if you're doing it yourself and where to match on your face. Um, but if all that sounded really complicated, you've got all four of us. And if you want a colour match, all you've got to do is send us that selfie facing out of the window and we'll do all the rest for you. Um, we did go over yesterday the different types of primer um, and how none of us used to use primer and how much better our skin is since we have been using it because it makes your makeup, it, it basically preps your skin, doesn't it? So we talked about like getting the right primer for your skin so if you're wanting to mattify your, your skin there's a primer for that if you're wanting to hydrate your skin there's a primer for that um and it really increases your staying power of your makeup doesn't it because it's that smooth base for your makeup to sit onto um uh, marie showed you the mattifying primer i did the hydrating one um and then we did a couple of different foundations with a couple of completely different finishes as well didn't we we did marie did the serum plus foundation with all that amazing skincare in um and i did the stick foundation which is a dewy finish one so marie's was a matte um and my, the one that i was wearing was a dewy finish um, so two completely different foundations and that's really just down to personal choice isn't it um yeah. but yeah it was really fun i felt like um <clears throat> hopefully you got some value from that session yesterday um and today what we're going to be covering we've got something a little bit different for you today we're going to go into like how's basically do's and don'ts of concealer um we've all seen the you know influencers on tiktok and youtube slapping all kinds of weird and wonderful tons of concealer on the face and um amy and nicola are gonna basically give you um they're gonna myth bust and show you which is the best and which is the worst way to apply it and then me and marie are going to talk to you a little bit about how you can get your makeup to last longer um so yeah go for it um <laughs> <Nicola and Amy. laughs> right so i'll show you first how not to do it so you think by trying to cover it up you're going to put loads on so let's have a go with that and see how it works yeah, and then while Amy's just doing that, I um, just need to tell you a little bit about our concealer. Can't see properly in the, <laughs> the mirror. <laughs> Trying to do it, it in that. It's all back to front. It's um, yeah. called a skin solution concealer, isn't it, Amy? So it, yeah. like, literally, you can build it up gradually and it really blends really well. But obviously, if you're putting it on wrong, then it's not yeah. going to do either of those. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it looks goodness, a bit yeah. too cakey there, doesn't it? Can you see? Yeah, 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 definitely. It's it's like making you can see me wrinkles more, can't you? It's like yeah. too much. Yeah, yeah. So it's better to build it up gradually, then, yeah. Yeah. So I just start off with just a few dots in a triangle. Oh, I can't do it in that. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a mirror. Go back to <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Um, and the, the so um, ingredients, like, the ingredients ah, in it are really good, aren't they? I think yeah. um, I think you said about wrinkles. I know that it's got caffeine in it, and that helps to reduce wrinkles. Um, yeah. And it's also got, um, I think you mentioned this yesterday, didn't you, um, Lisa? The squalane, squalane oh, yeah, the, yeah. It, which is the skin yeah. conditioner. Yeah. yeah. And it's Ooh. and the one that Marie can't say. And neither can See, I. I've only put a so, little bit on and it's not as cakey oh, there. Oh, yeah. It? That looks much better. Yeah, it does. Loads because, better. Yeah. So and less is more when you're going with concealer. Definitely. Especially oh, as you're yeah. getting older with all these wrinkles. <laughs> 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 um, what is the other ingredient? Yeah, so so sodium hyaluronic laronate which hydrates and plumps the skin so um that's really good that's so amazing. that should help reduce those wrinkles that'll squeeze all yes there. that's what we all need yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely so how does that feel like the comparison amy can you see a massive difference on the one where you've put like a yeah, lot yeah this one it's just it really is cake it'll load yeah. it's just too much um and it's more difficult to see. Blend. yeah 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 
can see it on your yeah, cheek. Yeah, you can. Yeah. And that one's just, I'm going to use a tiny bit and you can't see the dark circles yeah. under my eyes. So it's, it's a lot, lot, it a lot up, better. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm going to be honest here. When I used to see all these um, people on TikTok and YouTube and stuff doing these like, you know, like full covered face with concealer that goes all the way up here. I I tried it because I was like, it looks quite <laughs> good. Like, I'm going to try yeah. it on my work. <laughs> and do you know what? The funny thing is in a camera screen. So if I was looking at you and I've done that, yeah. it might look all, all right. But when you look in your own mirror. Yeah. Or when, in, yeah, when you see in real life, it's just yeah. too much. You could see all my lines <laughs> and creases and it was just... I just thought, I wonder if that is what it looks like, or is it just be, it, maybe it works better on younger skin? <coughs> um, yeah, so yeah maybe. I, I do find that the little dots as well. I, that's how I do mine now, and I, it, I think it's much much fresher, and it like lifts your face, doesn't it? Instead, yeah. So yeah, making you look older. <laughs> <laughs> making you look too. Yeah, crazy. exactly. When I when I first got my concealer, I think I probably did too many dots. And it was awful. I, did, yeah. I didn't do a big big line or anything like that, but yeah. I think I did too many dots. Um, yeah. And that was awful as well. I was like, cracky, you really do only need a teeny tiny, tiny bit. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, amazing. Um, yeah, I love mine. And I love that all that skincare is in it as well. Again, yeah. you know, like all the foundations are full of skincare. The concealer is full of, full of skincare. Like all that skin conditioning stuff in your yeah. makeup makes you feel better about putting makeup on doesn't it because you know like i used to hear people saying like oh i'm not i'm not wearing makeup for a while because i want to give my skin a breather breather yeah, yeah you, you don't know, need like, to with this do you yeah you don't need to with this this is actually helping your skin which is just amazing yeah, we had, yeah we, had the, we had the discussion didn't we marie that we always thought or we always used to put concealer underneath the foundation as yeah. well and that's well, a big thing because um you don't you shouldn't should you you should blend no. it over top so yeah. go, what, why 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 is it that it's got to go on after well i think i think we when me and nicola were talking yeah. about it we were kind of like yeah why is that because it's it was like growing up when we were younger you know in our yeah. younger days it was i was always taught concealer foundation powder that that was that was it that's how it worked um and and i i don't know necessarily what changed or when it changed um but obviously now you put you put your foundation on first because otherwise you're just gonna it's gonna all smudge in together yeah. Yeah. And you to need your honest, concealer to cover up don't you i only learned this really late on because i went and did like um you know, like a, an introductory makeup course. And the, yeah. that was the first thing she said to me. And I was like, yeah. so I've been putting <laughs> concealer on and then blending it off. Yeah. Or just mixing it in with the foundation, you know, <laughs> like. Yeah. So, yeah, that is the reason why your concealer goes last, because it's going to stay where you put it. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it? And I think if you if you have like blemishes and things like that, because you said, um, didn't you, about you can put it onto your lip and that helps yeah. to plump the lip up. But if you mm. have blemishes and things like that and you use a concealer, I think you wanted to hide those before you put the foundation on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's just like a psychological thing. But yeah. obviously now, you know, it's much better to do it this way. So what, Amy, if you yeah. were covering, let's give anybody who's watching a little bit of a tip on, because I know this is quite a common one, especially for ladies who do suffer with breakouts you know some people get hormonal breakouts don't they that's yeah that's i'm like that every month I've got um, some, um, so if you so were yeah. covering a spot how would that be different to when you've just dotted it on your eyes but just you don't need a tiny little bit and just dot it on and then just dab it in with your finger yeah you can see yourself you know you don't need a blender just use your finger yeah and just pat it just kind of pat, pat it, it in yeah yeah not covered well. them up. Nice and easy. That's yeah. it, yeah. Lovely, amazing. gone. <laughs> amazing. Hopefully we've, like, um, solved some, like, dramas for some ladies tonight because I think that is, that's one of the most commonly asked questions is which, does your concealer go on before or after? Mm -hmm. And then what's the best way to hide a spot? You know, like. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
And I never really got why I wasn't hiding my spots when I was in my teens. And it's because of the concealer, isn't it? I was just yeah, blind. It my first, yeah. I, I think our concealer is actually really popular as well because um, since I've been with Unique, um, a lot of people have mentioned it to me that they've used it in the past and then maybe lost touch. And so yeah. um, that's really good that, you know, people are out there and they're using it and really love it. So, yeah. it's up. Right, we're going to um, come back to me and Marie now because what we want to do is give you some tips on how you can get the get your makeup to be as long lasting as you can because my biggest bugbear, I do not want to reapply my makeup in the day or if I've gone like for a meal out or something like that, I don't want to be going into the bathroom and thinking I need to reapply my makeup or I need to, you know, I don't want to need to do that. Um, now, all of our makeup is super long lasting, but we've got some tips on how you can make it last even longer and keep that fresh finish that you that it, that you had when you first put it on. So, Marie is up first, I think. I am. And I'm going to talk to you about our um, Prime and Set powder. So, this is multi-purpose. So, you can use it as a primer before you put your makeup on. A, Obviously, we've covered a couple of the primers yesterday, but you can use this as well. Um, or you can use it as setting powder after you've put your makeup on. Um, so it comes in this gorgeous little bottle. It never comes full, and there's a reason for that, it, and it's really important because when you, when you come to apply it, what you need to do is shake it. It's got kind of a little, I don't know what the technical like term for it is. It's like a sieve. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> um, so you shake it, you tilt it and shake it and then that basically, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you this without tipping ah, it anywhere. so you're not wasting it, it's just yeah, got enough so in the lid. you're not wasting it, you've just got in that, oh, oh, yeah. you've yeah. got in that top little bit there enough powder to just dab your fluffy brush, we talked about brushes yesterday, yeah. didn't we? So um, what's the difference with, with the brush that you use? Ah, yeah. That so that, a... that's the Kabuki brush that we put the foundation on with. It's a lot, hang on, let me put that down. I don't want to spill my precious powder. Um, <laughs> it's a lot firmer um, yeah, yeah. And, and that's used to blend in um, your foundation with. This one is a nice fluffy one. You can see. Yeah, you can see it. From earlier. Um, yeah. So basically then you just dab your brush into the top and dab that onto your skin um so one mistake i made when i first got this was i brushed it on um yes. and that was a mistake because within this powder there is and i'm looking at my geeky notes here there is innovative encapsulated water technology so oh, basically wow. science mm, bit. <laughs> it's a science bit, yeah it's basically this innovative water encapsulated technology release the burst of um hydration into your skin so right. when awesome. the first time i put it on i went like that it kind of wiped my foundation, foundation. Oh. Yeah. it's got water in it um and it's to keep you you know fresh and hydrated as well through the day so the best thing to do is just dab it on with your brush and it feels so nice it's really really f refreshing which i have never ever found it's not dry in your skin really, no. No, no not at all mm -hmm. not in the slightest it, it is honestly it's gorgeous mm -hmm. um and obviously it helps keep my makeup in place so and i just it's, it it's what, that's obviously a mattifying isn't it as well so it it's keeping, is so it's, yeah that's kind of cool so it's mattifying but not drying it's that's hydrating it's yeah. hydrating at the same time yeah yeah that yeah, is unusual absolutely. isn't it because yes. most powders can be yeah, dry sometimes dry your skin out and yeah. it goes down yeah. flaky doesn't it so mm. yeah we do yeah i mean i've had powders that you know just rest really heavy yeah. um on on you and it's just not it, it's horrible isn't it? it it's just like that cakey horrible feeling yeah. um but the other thing with this and i I'd, i went to see a friend the other day and i actually did a makeup for her um and i used our flawless four that we've been talking about um so we used a primer we used the serum plus foundation um we used the concealer a little bit um and we used the this powder um and she messaged me at the end of the day and said i am so impressed with the staying power this has stuck oh. all day wow so, so it's not just me saying it <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so that that is our set and, um, 
prime and set. set powder. So you can actually uh -huh. dab that on before your makeup as your primer. You can. Another yeah. option for your primer. Yeah. And then put your foundation concealer on and tap it on again so that it's setting yeah. it as well. So that's kind of cool. You can. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Very nice. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Well, what I'm going to show you is a little bit of a different one because I did the um, I did the dewy finish foundation yesterday, didn't I? So I thought I would stick with the same theme today and go with the dewy finish way to set your your makeup if that is your preferred kind of finish. So this is basically it's our now this is not an aerosol so when you spray it it doesn't it's not like an aerosol can so you get like a fine mist that comes uh. out of it. um it smells really nice as well um but this has got i'm going to tell you some of the ingredients because it is a nice fine soothing mist it's got something in it called i'm doing marie you've got me I've been so good. I was like, <laughs> I know all the words. <laughs> so anyway, um, oleanic acid is known to help soothe the skin. And then there's something in here called Anantia chloranthia bark extract. So this is obviously a plant-based ingredient and it helps to control the shine um, on combination and oily skin. Oh, really? So actually... Mm -hmm. The way you might always think to yourself, I need powders to mattify, mm. Mm. this can actually help reduce oil and shine. Oh. So it, it does give you the dewy finish, but it can help get oil get under control because some of the other things in it, you've got like green tea extract um, and vitamin E, which are powerful antioxidants. Um, and it's just reminded me of the... Um, the scent is like a cucumber aloe kind of smell. So it's like, Ooh, that sounds nice. smells like <laughs> the spa a little bit. <laughs> but basically, I've already got my makeup on at the moment. You can see I've got a little bit of um, highlighter to give me a bit of glow. And then when I'm ready to, to go, I make sure I've done absolutely everything. So brows, eyes, lips, everything's done. And then it's a little bit like spraying the rose water on. So you just... And it smells amazing. Now, I'm going to try and get a little bit closer there. Can you see? So I wouldn't say, I like, you're shiny, but it's giving you that gorgeous, fresh, dewy glow. Yeah. If that's the look that you want, this is definitely the one that gives it you. But I hadn't realized that it can help with oil, which is mm. really weird because I have got combination skin, which means I do sometimes get oil here. Yeah. Um, so I'd been using this, but not realizing that it would be actually hel helping that as well. But yeah, Bob. <laughs> setting spray for the win. You know, the thing is, I absolutely love all of these products. So I do tend to alternate a lot because I'm just like, I'm fancy in a matte day today. Or, you know, like I'm fancy in a dewy look today. What shall we do different? Um, so. Can I just say that I'm really glad you got the... Uh... You, you chose the uh, setting spray with those ingredients because I would not. Have that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know. Well Oleanic. Oleanic. Oh, God. Yeah, uh, I've just one. gone with bark extract. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what, Lisa? Oh, it's we'll just, it you know, simple. a bark. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm just such a geek when it comes to ingredients. I know, like, not everybody wants to know what's in the makeup, but for me, like, as I've got older, I want to know stuff. Yeah. I want to, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty much the same with my food as well. Like, yeah. I, I've got to a point, I think, now where I, I am, like, I do care about what's going in my body. I care about what's going on my skin. Um, yeah. You know, I'm quite fussy about, like, food labels now. And I think uh, I'm trying to move more to whole foods than processed foods, you know, like, because I just think you just don't know what's in it. What's and I just feel... It? I feel the same with my face. It's like, it's what really, are you putting onto your skin? What chemicals are in it? And yeah. it's really important that yeah, I'm the same. I'm I'm complete geek when it comes to the ingredients and stuff like that. But it's really yeah. important because how do you know that what you're putting on your skin is working for you? Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. So that's why I do a lot of kind of get to know your ingredients stuff. Yeah, it's really, really important. You know, yeah, what I do love that. those. I come to your page for a little bit of a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah if anybody wants an ingredients lesson go follow marie she's amazing um, <laughs> um but yeah i mean i think it's really funny when i look back at old pictures as well you know like of the makeup that i used to do and i used to feel like i was the dogs and i look yeah. at myself now and think what the hell 
Oh, you know, no. like you look at pictures and people, what the hell I wasn't doing. <laughs> I feel like I missed out because, like, my now forty-year-old self knows how to apply makeup, but my forty-year-old self doesn't want to go on nights out anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, same. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, um, I hope everyone has got some value from this session. We've really enjoyed it, haven't we? You know, yeah, it's been fun. Um, and if anybody's been watching and thinking, do you know what, I would love a color match. I'd love to know like which which sort of foundation, which would be the best match for me. Feel free to just reach out to any of us because we're all trained in the color matching. And like I said, like we said yesterday, there is unlimited exchanges. So if you got something and the shade wasn't quite right you can return it. And if you got another one that wasn't quite right, I mean, we're never going to get two, three wrong. Come on, we're not we're, we're good at what we do. But you've got that option to keep exchanging it until you get the perfect one. You know, yeah. like, and that takes that risky thing away from trying a different brand because you know you can always exchange it or get your money back if you don't absolutely love it, which is just amazing. Um, now, if anybody's got any other questions or any other like makeup application questions that we've not covered, please feel free to drop them in the comments and we'll come back and answer them. Um, now, if you're still with us and you've watched both of the sessions, um, we have got a surprise bonus live that will be coming through. Did we say Saturday, Marie? We did, yeah. Yeah, a little bonus live on Saturday. Um, so keep your eyes peeled on Saturday morning. I'll post the time and a little clue as to what it is. Um, but yeah, keep your eyes open for that. Um, and we'll see you all soon. Thanks for joining Later. us again. Bye. 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 Bye.